Sebi, good to see you. You know, the, the guy was a former finalist. He showed no respect out there today, only three games. Yeah, that was a good first match on the clay. I've, I've been here for uh, yeah, over a week now, so, you know, great preparation, played with some unbelievable players, and, yeah. you know, just really, uh, really happy to get the win today. Well, listen, you look you look, always look really comfortable on the clay. Today, it plays a little bit different because it was so heavy out there. You still fired eight aces. Um, even when it gets a little bit slower, you don't you don't mind it? Uh, no, I mean, I grew up on the clay, green clay, a little different. But um, yeah, you know, I, I really enjoy it. You know, I really enjoy playing on clay. Um, and yeah, you know, I think when I'm playing well on clay, you know, I think uh, I think it suits my game pretty well. And, you know, just, uh, you know, happy with uh, how everything's going right now. Talked a little bit with um, some of the other players. Grigor Dimitrov had, a, had a, a really quick turnaround because he played so well in Miami, so not much prep on the clay. It takes um, a little bit more time than others. What are some of the biggest adjustments for you as you as you come off the hard stuff to here? Yeah, I think uh, you know, I think a big key is getting a lot of time. <laughs> luckily, I had a, quite a bit of time. Uh, oh, luckily and unfortunately as well. But um, yeah, you know, just uh, also playing a doubles match helped a lot. You know, just been here for over a week, and you know, just uh, you know, getting used to it. It's, it's very difficult. Um, you know, different different types of movement, and uh, yeah, you know, you just got to really kind of stay positive. You know, a lot of bad bounces, and you know, you just got to enjoy it. You're um, you're a little lonely here, as far as the Americans are concerned, because um, you know a lot of them are still. They were playing in Houston. They're going to come over here a little bit later. Um, what's your thoughts on playing the full long clay court season versus uh, you know taking a break, going back, or, or starting a little bit later? Yeah, uh, you know everyone has their own way of doing things. Uh, you know I'm pretty comfortable in Europe. I. Uh, in one way, kind of grew up with my parents are European, so um, you know I think getting here early and playing against the best guys in the world is is really big for me. And just uh, yeah, just getting adjusted to to the surface, being here, it's a long journey on the clay, and you know just gotta just gotta stay positive and happy. Um, you posted a, a really uh, a nice picture on Instagram a little while ago when you were at the Miami Open. You played some doubles with mm -hmm. Andy Murray. You said time flies. You had a great picture <laughs> of you as a kid when he was yeah. he was still playing, and now you guys got to play doubles together. Mm -hmm. I love seeing those things. You know when generations collide like that. How how special was that for you? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, you know he's always been the guy that I've always watched. Um, you know he's always beaten up on my coach Radic, so I didn't really like him growing up because uh, just because he would always beat my favorite players. But you know it was uh, really special to to get the opportunity to play doubles with him you know i asked him in adelaide to play doubles at queens so we're kind of <laughs> we're kind of set for queens i hope he remembers that uh, and hopefully you know hopefully his injury is not too bad and, and he can be back quick but uh yeah you know really enjoyed playing doubles with him a lot of fun and you know he's just such a competitor and you know i absolutely loved it that's gonna, that's gonna be a big one if you guys play at queens yeah, there yeah. be a lot of eyeballs on you were you able to uh, pick up anything from him ask for any <laughs> little advice uh, honestly, no. I mean, we just, you know, we just chatting when we were playing, and yeah. you know, just having a lot of fun. You know, I think uh, definitely the most competitive, one of the most competitive people I've I've ever been on a tennis court with, and you know, I think it's awesome how much he loves the game and, and you know how hard he competes. He's a great dude, great dude, real inspiration. Um, we're all looking forward to your next match. I'm sure you are as well. You take on Yannick Sinner, who's just been balling this year. Mm -hmm. um, you guys each have a win against each other. Mm -hmm. This will be a third one. Decider yeah. who goes up two one. How you feeling? <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, obviously he's, he's probably the, the best tennis player in the world right now. Uh, you know, he's having an unbelievable season, and you know, it's going to be our first uh, first meeting on the clay. Um, you know, I'm just going to try to go out there, do my best, and you know, see what happens. Ah, right, well, you play like you did today. You're going to have a great shot. So we'll let you get some rest and wish you all the best of luck. Thanks, man. Sebi Korda moving on, giving up just three games against former finalist Alejandro Davidovich Fakina.